episode 25 on View Squalor, and we're gonna do another edit today. So I've decided that I like to give all of the slowest wide receivers in the league, one per team, a two point bump in speed. So we go to speed. Oops. In, in our case, it's Jordy Nelson. Shocker, huh? Not really. Um, but if we go to the next team, it's Rashawn Higgins. Right? Go to the next team. Danny Amendola. Michael Carabtree. Kenny Britt. Cole Beasley. Pierre Gasson. Michael Thomas. Before he was good. Oh, Demarcus Yancey, Jerome Brown. Hey, this team's got speedy ones. Desiree Carney, Rashad Matthews, Jerome Ash. Not a very fast wide receiver. Morgan Creek, Brandon LaFell, Marlon Brown. Marius Thomas, Shaquille Swift. Okay, there's the reason I'm doing this is to show you that uh, I think Jordy Nelson is the oldest wide receiver in the league and also the slowest. But there are some really slow young players too. So, and just to be fair, we're going to do it with the cornerbacks, too. So, we'll pick the slowest corners in the league. And they will get a two-point bump. Hey, Quentin Rollins. What do you know? Logan Ryan. Sean Smith. Yep, just these two. Just wide receivers. And, um, and cornerbacks. And I'll do that in the first week, so let them finish their preseasons and finish all their things. So we're going to advance to the Bears next week. And that's what we're going to do, and I'll come back when I'm all done with that. All right, I've gone through and done that deed of putting two speed in every player, the slowest player, in those two positions. It took eh, about a half an hour, I guess. Yeah, maybe not that long. But that really helped Quentin Rollins out, who was the lacking... Um, player on our defense so I feel a little more confident with his 89 speed so he's now faster than Micah Hyde uh, wide receivers basically just wiped out Jordy Nelson's loss so helped him out a little bit um We'll eventually get our speedy guys on the field here. So, but not yet. I think uh, Devontae Adams and Jordy Nelson make a nice one, two, three. And then every once in a while, these two will get them in the field. It's a good, good thing to have here, you know, with Jordy being next year's going to be his last year. After that, we'll have. On the older Randall Cobb, and yeah, we'll be fine. So, uh, next thing up on my list to do's is to make the roster up so I can have that ready to go, and then we can actually sign start the game. And it looks like Keith Vitoe, Keithan Vitoe, Vitale, looks like kind of like potato, but with a V. I'm going to take a look at his. He was a left tackle. 71 overall left tackle. So we lost our our left, left tackle. So mark that down and sign a new one. Okay, so we're going to play the Bears. And here is their injury report. Leonard Floyd, Kyler Fleury, Trey Mason, 
Jeremy Langford, Eddie Goldman. You know what I remember now about Madden 17 that I forgot? How the old players disappear. Just they just they just go away. Um, it's kind of sad that like you can't pick up a 30-year-old vet to help the team because they're all gone. Anyways, we're gonna super sim slow mode this game. Um, unless they're on the team. But like Jordy Nelson is uh, the oldest wide receiver in the league at 34. So But uh yeah. Alright, so I got my offense and defense and Jay Cutler starting, so Kind of overall of 76, we are going to be on defense first. We have 25 players on defense. Right now, compared to the end of last year, we've gone down in experience, in age, by not much. But, uh, oh, that was a Tamarius Randall getting burnt up there. Jay Cutler to Kevin White. Um, well, I guess we could do that real quick. Why don't we do that before we continue on? We'll just look at the, the Bears roster. Uh, our Pro Bowls went up by two compared to last year. On defense, I'm talking about. And uh, the overall rating went up a little over a point. Depth chart. Okay, Jay Cutler, Jimmy Garoppolo is his backup, and Jay Keeps. Jay Keeps was a phenomenal high school quarterback that, I don't know what happened, but, oh, Trey Mason and Jeremy Langford are out, so we'll be facing Devon McMillan here, two fullbacks backing him up, Alshon Jeffrey still doing good. Everybody got a speed boost. I don't remember who grabbed the speed boost on the Bears. It was either Brad Jones or I think it was Brad Jones. And Jared Cook is still the tight end for the Bears. Let's see. Nice offensive line. There's another probably injury related start. Carmel McPhee, 74 speed, Tony Trevathan, and Troll Freeman is still playing. Mark Houston, so good, a good 4 3 there, 3 4 cornerbacks. DJ Fine is their top. Tracy Porter would have been the one that got the boost. Complete safety, Adrian Amos, Aaron Williams. Let's super sim slow mode. All right, first and ten on the forty-four for the Bears. Packers are in their four-three second year of running a four-three. New middle linebacker. Oh, missed tackle. Big hit by uh, Aaron Womack, the starting strong safety. Now that. Morgan Burnett is no longer on the team due to salary cap issues. All right, two big plays for the Bears right away. Big chunk plays, so see what happens. Jay Cutler's under center. Back to pass. There's a flag. Tackle by Neil Stalling, our first round 20 year old linebacker. But it gets wiped out because of that. So second down and 14. Clay Matthews is on the field in a bunch formation over there. Back to pass, Jay Cutler. Batted down by Kenny Clark. So Kyler Frackle was on the field. Bears offensive line. Let me turn on my fan. Let me turn this off. All right, third down and 14. Big 
big pass down the middle, but it was broken up. Looked like, ha, huh, no, that's uh, Micah Hyde breaking it up. All right, punt return time. Cordell Patterson is going to be back there to receive the punt. Cordero. Going to have some blockers, but the punt is going to go into the end zone. All right, Packers are on offense. We got 34-year-old Aaron Rodgers. Wants to play till he's 40, 95 overall. Right heavily on this power run game that we run. We have Eddie Lacy, who didn't eat too many cheeseburgers. He was not the greatest running back, but he still eat a bunch of cheeseburgers. Ooh, a juke move gets negative one yards. Romel Foreman is our starting tight end. Handoff. Oh my goodness. We are just not going anywhere. Negative four yards. It's hot out. Everybody's all sweaty. Alright, third down and 14. Three wide receiver set. Aaron's looking around. Dumps it off to Foreman. He's got miles to go. He didn't make it. They're punting. We're going to go to normal mode until the second half. And then we'll watch a drive both ways in the second half. Not starting out so good for the Packers offense. Let's, uh, let's see if they can turn it around in the second half. We're going to get the ball first. Oh, Patterson's taking it out to the 20. Spin move, nothing going there. The impact blocking on the kick return team is probably not great. So, probably why it's so hard. But uh, yeah, no, that was a that's pretty terrible uh, beginning there. Nothing, nothing really offensively. I mean, they gave up that one touchdown and field goal, but not able to run the ball but they're going to try yep eight eight rushes for 11 yards let's go Madden and Rogers back to pass looks around dumps it off hey Lacey got a first down that's a first. So Aaron Rodgers, 5 for 12 with an interception. Yeah, because Neil Stalling recovered a fumble with our middle linebacker, and then Aaron Rodgers threw an interception really close to the, our own end zone, so it's pretty easy for them to punch it in. Aaron Rodgers back to pass. Blitz picked up. Flag for holding. Fumbled the ball. No one's going to get it. I think they just turned over the ball. We're going to decline that. We're on defense. Oh, jeez, this game's going terrible. All right, defense back to pass. Check color. Good one's there. Neil Stalling with the kick, catch. Stallings. Neil Stallings. Stallings. Offensively or defensively, we've gotten slightly younger experience wise. Age dropped a half a year. Pro Bowls went up by two. And uh, amazingly, overalls went up by a full point. Plus, uh, get rid of a couple of. Uh, I don't know why. I mean, I got some 60s in, on the defense. Uh, Mike Daniels is our highest rated player at 91. And they're just getting shredded right now. 22 yards for 84 yards. 22 runs. Packers defense didn't show up today. There 
There we go. There's the rookie. He was the winner of the 20 year old award, so I, I'm telling you I didn't cheat or anything to do that. It really, that's how it showed up, but. Blitz by Clay Matthews, forcing him to kick a field goal. All right, let's see how this game ends. Well, we'll just pretend that that didn't happen. That was pretty bad. I don't even want to look. I'm done. Man, oh man, did we get whomped by the Bears. 27 to 3. I, caramba, man. I, I didn't expect to just not do so well, but... I don't know. I don't know. I didn't look at the stats. Let's look at the stats of the game. I know it's already been passed, so it won't be. Alright, so Aaron Rodgers played terrible. Three sacks, 15, uh, 3, 45%. Yeah, that's probably the start, but. And, you know, like, couldn't run the ball, and. I mean, they, they didn't even have their starting two. Matt Jones did better than Eddie Lacy. Oh, that's a bad sign. Receiving, Kevin White. Let's look at just the Packers receiving. Come on, Foreman, Jordy Nelson, two catches, Randall Cobb, three, Eddie Lacy. Just not there. Defensively, one sack for Brandon Meebane, and a split sack between Mike Daniels and Neil Stalling. Stallings? No interceptions, it was just, yuck, yuck. I don't know what that was about, but uh, hopefully next week brings a better, a better, better. And I started a new series on Madden 20, also called Expansion. Uh, it's an expansion rebuild. It's it's a very strange one, but uh, basically it took a team and I cut all their players and grabbed all the worst tape players in the league. and made a team out of them and I have heavy restrictions on what I'm allowed to do there and uh, hopefully hopefully we can uh, win this game against the Bills but uh, yeah all right what does slow development mean well if we look at this little list here it means that uh, I don't know it means that he gets very little experience so, you can kind of see it here. Clay Matthews, who has quick development. Um, oh, I guess middle linebackers. So, Blake Martinez. So, he's like a third. But it's kind of like, must be depend on their uh, draft position. Because Demaris Randall's the starter. Kendall Fuller. Quentin Rollins. Micah Hyde. Hmm. But, yeah. So, he's... He's something. So what we're going to do in this series too now, this is going to be a little different this time, is that I'm going to watch um, the first series offense-defense on both halves. And then, so it's going to it's gonna increase the game time, but uh should just allow for a little bit more something. The other one was watching it just just do play by play and then decide to jump in every once in a while to watch either one. Um, that could be a possibility too, but right now we're just going to do the play by play kind of thing, and uh, I need to post some videos too because I'm kind of far behind still. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get a win here and not start 0-2. But uh, we shall see. We're playing the Bengals? Is that who we're playing? No, the Bills. The Bills have Micah Hyde. No, they don't, but they do in real life. Medical Center, it's been a while. Let's see. No players, great. Bills. Ryan Robinson, Terrence Garvin. No overall here. Madden 20, they have the overall right there. That's kind of nice. There are some quality life improvements that, you know, now that I've jumped back to 17. Oops. 
that I've I've like noticed. So Tyrod Taylor is their quarterback and Sean McCoy is 30 now, huh? Alright. So which wide receiver got the speed boost? I don't know, it had to be either Marlon Brown or I think it was Marlon Brown that got the speed boost. Yeah, it would have been the first one listed, so Marlon Brown. Charles Clay. Take a look. Avery G and Cognito, nice. Jerry Hughes, Marcel Darius, Reggie Lagland. Oh, Preston. No, I thought that was Preston Smith. I'm like, that's impossible. But yeah, it would be impossible. I think it would be impossible. Kind of rambling. Sorry. Stephen Gilmore, Ronald Darby. Okay, let's watch a little bit. Cordell Patterson got up to the 28 ish. Here's Aaron Rodgers' stats so far. You, you, and you. That is definitely not what we like to see. Oh, they put it to the. Oh. Dang it. I'm trying to get it to do the change of possession, but I misclicked. So I think this is just going to be one and then. Nice run by Eddie Lacey. Everybody's clapping. No one's wearing masks because we don't have to yet. Oh man, what am I doing wrong here all of a sudden? Anyways, let's watch this play. Ooh, eye formation bunched. Wide receivers at the top. Back to pass. Pass up the middle. Randall Cobb. Kind of went backwards a little bit. Too much sideline coach. Why is that necessary? If we want to watch a replay, we should just watch a replay ourselves. Change of possession. Okay, that should work. I think I got it this guys. This time guys. Alright. Aaron Rodgers. Hand off, Eddie Lacy up the middle. Did a hit stick to his own lineman kind of thing instead of busting up the middle. Not the greatest run, but. They cut Brian Balaga this season because his, his rating just dropped like crazy. Aaron Rodgers under center. Bunch up at the top there. Back to pass. Pass to Adams. It's a first down. So the new season, or the new series I'm playing is an expansion series, and uh, I think the p players are pretty low. I mean, the average team is like 54, 57. And I did Madden 20 instead of 17 because 20's draft track drafts have lower overalls, but that will work really well in this series. Because if I did it in 17, everybody would just get replaced by everybody because like the lowest is 69 or something like 68. Maybe you get a 65 at some point, but so to have it be that low, nice, 15 extra yards. Um, to have it be, you know, where they're actually low, then those those six seventh rounders won't just replace people right away. Um, in that one, I'm going to watch half the series, half the first half, and then normal sim the second half. Uh, and spoiler, the first game didn't go so well. So, but uh, should be exciting. You know, like I said, I, you, know, you have to watch that series to get the rules of it, but there are some neat rules in that. Okay, here we go, here we go. The second down and 10, there was a big drop by the Bills receiver there pressure put on by Neil Stalling and then the Bills wide receiver dropped the ball. Not getting a lot of pressure up the middle. There's is Charles Clay I believe. The tight end. Um, 
so we need we need some uh, some pressure in this episode. It's getting long, and we'll be looking for some edge rushers. We just have two plugs in there right now, and Mike Daniels finally gets free, but it's too late. Damaris Randall with the tackle. Stops him to kick a field goal. That's pretty good. So uh, I think uh, we'll finish out this game and then end the episode. And uh, that kick is good. So it's 3 3. Better than the Bears game. Oh, yeah. Carl Bradford, who we didn't re sign, is a Buffalo Bill. So uh, he's their starting linebacker in their 3 4. Come on, punch this in, guys. There you go, Aaron Rodgers, quarterback keeper. So that's going to take us to the change of possession, which they consider the kickoff part of the change of possession. So now it's going to go. And, uh... Oops, I think I just did it again. All right. Productive first half for the bear for the Bears. Oh my goodness, for the Packers, not for the Bears. Where did that come from? Oh, down at the bottom, the Bears lost after stomping us. That's interesting. In Detroit, Oof, boy, Detroit lost. Um, oh, I think that's not right either. Dang. Um, anyways. Randall Cobb had a touchdown. Defense gave up a touchdown, but did good. So we'll see how it goes. <coughs> Get a drink. Too much. Oh my goodness. I need to go down to the bottom and hit the button. I, I know what I'm doing wrong. Brown with the first down. Neil Salling in the in the area. This slow development is going to be interesting. There. Change of possession. There, I got it. I got it, guys. I did it. Okay, let's check out this defense here. Four down rushers. Clay Matthews getting uh, getting free there and slowing him down. Uh, I almost forgot Clay Matthews was even on the team because it just feels like that was so long ago. But this is long ago, so that makes sense. Micah Hyde's a corner. All right, got through, but McCoy caught the ball, but McCoy gets lit up by both Matthews and Randall. Third down and nine. That's great. Nice open field double tackle. Ragdoll physics. Rex Ryan's the coach. I think, yeah, that's Rex Ryan. Tyrod Taylor back to catch... About to get the snap. Goes back. Oh, blitz up the middle, but it was picked, picked up by dumped off to LaShawn McCoy for a first down. Dang it. LaShawn McCoy was really good for a while there. Alright, here we go. Packers are. Yeah, Clay Matthews is covered. He pancaked his guy and that was neat. Nick Stallings got the tackle. Neil, Neil, Neil Stallings. High snap, handoff to Sean McCoy. A couple more yards for him. Third and one. 
And what EA developer thought it would be a good idea to keep panning to the coach every time? Oh, look, they got an extra lineman in. Ken Clark breaks into the backfield, but it looks like this is coming back for a holding. Making it third down in 11 instead of 1. Break, big break for the Packers there. Not been on offense yet, so we still have the offense to watch. Pressure up the middle, but oh, broken up. Whoa, that was a crazy play. Who was that? That was uh, Kendall Fuller there getting it, the job done. I hope they replay that. I would like to see that. No, they're not going to, and I'm not going to be able to instant replay that one. Pump by Fields he is dropped into the end zone. Packers are on off. Hand off. Eddie Lacy gets caught up there. Average 4.4 yards a carry. Hey, that's pretty nice. That's pretty sweet. Three yards on that one. Can't watch the offensive line. See who. Who does good on the run blocking and who doesn't do so good? Ooh, nice juke by Eddie Lacy there. And and Carl Bradford is hurt. Antonio Morrison. Oh, that's a terrible call. Antonio Morrison was um, Carl Bradford's replacement. That's the guy the Packers signed to be that inside linebacker run stopper. And then... Like he did okay, I guess, at it, but he was terrible in coverage. That yeah, was not a good choice for play calling. So we're going to punt the ball. Guys, we'll see you next episode to figure out who wins this game. But for now, we'll leave you with this little clip of Watkins. Must be Sammy getting tackled. Oh, and got a face mask. See you guys later. Like, subscribe, comment.